Hey everybody, I want to thank you for joining us. I'm here with Pastor Rodney Lynch, uh, fellow who's becoming a really good friend of mine, even when he challenges me in ways that make me feel uncomfortable. So um, I want to thank him for being here with us. I want to thank you for joining us on this video, and we'll get into it. So Rodney, uh, thanks yeah. for joining us. Thank thanks you. for joining us with this. Thanks for um, having me. I, I want to start by just asking you to introduce yourself a little sure. bit. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your family, your ministry, sure. and uh, then we'll, we'll just start sure, there. Sure, sure. I'm Rodney Lynch. I serve as pastor and director of the Baptist Student Foundation at Purdue University. Been there four years from New Jersey by way of Alabama, roll tide. Another championship this year. <laughs> I'm a huge Alabama football fan. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, left there at the age of two and grew up, spent most of my life in Inglewood, New Jersey. Uh, I'm a married wife and three sons, 22, 21, and 16. Um, and so live in, the West <coughs> live in West Lafayette and glad to be here. Now, you uh, have indicated to me before that this whole Lafayette thing for you is a reluctant <laughs> Lafayette thing. Is, is that, is yeah. it growing on you yet? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, I, so, so Inglewood is very close to New York City. So I am a city person. I love to sit there. I love to be able to go outside at midnight and get some something decent to eat that's not franchised you know things of that nature you yeah. know um so so the, the you know the, the greater lafayette culture hasn't won or indiana has not worn on me <laughs> at all <laughs> you haven't grown into this nah. extreme cultural no. diversity that we have going on here in this <laughs> at all. in this community <laughs> not at all <laughs> <laughs> so so tell us a little but bit more let me say this okay i love being here because it's such it's so prime with opportunity to do ministry mm. i mean what better place to, than to be right now than in this community um, um tell us a little more about that what is what is the nature of your ministry uh on purdue's campus and beyond purdue's campus dude it's just usual campus ministry things you know we have service on um, sundays at 11 a.m till about 12, 12.30, and we usually go have lunch afterwards to continue the fellowship to get to, one, to, to, get to know one another. Uh, we have midweek, what I call authentic dialogue slash Bible study. Authentic dialogue I got from James Foster, actually, when I first moved here. Yeah. He shared that yeah, term with me, and we've been using that term ever since. And then in the ministry, we, we, part, we do partnerships, too, which is really crucial. Okay. We partner with uh, the Wesley Foundation, the United Methodist Church or Campus Ministry. Um, and we do like coffee houses and other gatherings. Things have kind of changed since COVID, of course. But um, two of our biggest partnerships is with Ace Food Pantry, which is um, run by S Civic Engagement and Leadership Development Department at Purdue. Uh, but they, it's, in our, it's housed in our building. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the only food pantry on the West Lafayette side. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and we also partner with, uh, just recently, we partnered with Mental Health America to um, help the students have, they have what's called the less talk, where students can have an opportunity to come talk to some professional um, therapists while they're waiting to get into CAPS at Purdue, which is counseling and psychological, the counseling and psychological um, services there at Purdue. Sometimes it could be a long wait, like two to three weeks. And so in the meanwhile, while folks are waiting, um, we, we want student, we want to create that space for students to have an opportunity to at least start sharing and talking about what's going on to, to, to keep them, you know, alive. So your ministry is uh, ministry to students, just like any of the other campus ministries. Correct. But you're also doing some things like a church would do uh, in a general community, like the food pantry and, and some other Correct. services. Yeah. But that's yeah. not your only ministry in this town. Uh, no. You're also yeah. ser currently serving as the president Yes. of an important organization. Tell us a little more of that. Yes, just recently um, was voted to be the president <coughs> of the Pastors Alliance in the greater Lafayette area. Um, uh, and I, what I, is I, the Pastors Alliance? <laughs> oh, the Pastors Alliance is a group of predominantly African-American pastors plus Jeff. <laughs> 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 where we come together to, um, to support one another, number one. 
you know, it's really, really a, a great source of support for particularly African-American pastors in this community, right? And then, you know, we, we, we seek to address social, spiritual and social issues in the community in addition to having um, services like uh, MLK commemoration service, Black History Month service. Uh, we kick off every year with a, um, ema not emancipation, but a uh, watch night service. Mm -hmm. Um, on New Year's Eve, and for those that don't know what Watch Night Service is, <laughs> I don't expect white people to know this. No, but, we do, we don't. <laughs> but Watch Night Service is uh, a service where in 1864, all the enslaved people were waiting for um, Abraham Lincoln to sign into law uh, the, the uh, Emancipation C Proclamation that, that freed the enslaved people. So um, December 31st of, of 1864, that night, um, they was waiting in, a, in all type of, you know, quote unquote type of churches mm -hmm. and um, waiting for 12 midnight for um, the That's Emancipation Proclamation to go into effect. Um, January 1st, 1865. Yep. So that's why black folks get together for centuries to f commemorate that, that uh, emancipation proclamation when enslaved people were, well, enslavement was no longer legal except through the criminal justice system. But that's another story. Yeah. <laughs>